Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. I'm Yanka, the excellent wife and mom, and I'm glad that you're here. So this video is just to give you a little um, update of what we've been doing for the month of June. Um, it's been rather eventful. Um, as you know, it's the start of summer, and so we've been doing a lot of summer activities. Um, we, well, you know, I think a couple months ago we got the chickens, so the kids you know, they love those chickens and they're out there every day <laughs> playing with those tr chickens. And I have to always tell them, like, give the chickens some room to breathe. Don't stress the chickens out. But they like to hold them like babies is the funniest thing. But um, the chickens are doing well and they're still um, attending to their chickens. And I think my favorite thing is watching them hold them like parrots. So they'll sit them on their arm or sit them on their shoulders. And um, um, the kids also, my husband bought a motorcycle. And so they got to go, you know, well, we all went along for the shopping process or the purchase of the bike. And um, in the video, you'll see them because I think the video will come, on, come after this video. So you'll see him ringing the doorbell or know the bell. And so uh, that was like almost an all day process because he ordered the bike before and then he had some have some parts put on. So they were there for that. And they, um, you know, just kind of got to hang out in the store a little bit. Um, draw and color and do some other stuff so um that was that and that was earlier this month um we also ordered a, a shed for the bike to go into so they saw that um, being brought in so that was actually cool to watch um you may see a clip well between youtube and instagram you'll see either pictures or on this video the different activities we did and golf is one of those so i think it'll I don't I may have a one clip here but it'll be some pictures in my Instagram video um, we um, let's see what else we oh um, at the beginning of the month we had the or we went to the Fry Hoffers race so that's like the biggest women's race in the area so uh, we did that earlier this month and that was a whole lot of fun um, and then we went to the New York State Museum which I already put that video out so you can I may link that in um, with this one so you can see that but we did at the beginning of the month that was a, a lot of fun a lot of to do there a lot of um stuff there so i figured we'll take a few more trips there because there's just so many areas to look into but it was a great uh, visit great experience and they loved it and i um, enjoyed it as well um and the kids i think in may they started the lemonade stand and so they've been doing it every week um usually right now they're doing it just once a week so they're the plan is to do that for the entire summer so they're they're um they're doing really good with that and last week they were so excited because the um fire engine stopped the people the firefighters stopped and they came and they bought lemonade so they were all excited they took pictures and everything uh with the firemen so that was really cool it was cool of them to support the kids like that too um so Oh, and then um, we've been doing this summer track meet series. So those um, track meets go for eight weeks. So we go and, you know, do events every uh, Tuesday and they're in the evening time. So they're doing, um, they do the, all the kids, they're running 50 in the 100 uh, meter dashes. And I've been doing a mile in the, what is it, the 400 meter one time around. So we're all just, you know, getting out there running and just having a good time meeting other people. So that's the one thing and they love they they couldn't wait for the summer track meet, meet series uh we did it a couple years ago and then we didn't do it i think we, we didn't do it the COVID year and last year so it's nice to get back into it doing um the track meet series um we you know doing the normal stuff still going to the different parks around um what's this oh they have been playing uno this month i see a lot of uno they're playing a lot of uno um We've been go going to the library now. Um, we did a little, well, not, they, I don't do hauls. I let them pick out their own books. So uh, right now the girls are, actually we all like these um, <laughs> elephant and piggy books. They are so funny to me. But um, there's another one missing somewhere, but um, the girls got, a, got those books. Um, the boys, I'm gonna actually order them some more Legos. But you see, they, like I said, a lot of time we go to the library, they like to get the um, Lego books and build the different things in there. So this is the um, Paris one. I think they got that one before. I know for sure they got the New York one. They want to do the Mona Lisa. That's what they want to build. So we're going to do that. Or I'm going to get more Lego so they can do that. Um, the London and Star Wars. And then 
Um, these are books that I picked out and we read these well some well, we've been reading some of these but I like this I like to look look at um, look for fun math books and actually um, a friend of mine or this lady that I just met she was a teacher for many years and she gave me this uh, big story book and it's called what is a million or something like that but it's a huge story book and it you know helped kids grasp the concept of um, millions and billions and trillions so that's been a great book and I think I may feature that in another video I do so you can see that book and how it explains that concept of a number so vast and large um, but today like we read this one the subtraction action book and you know this is good for my first grader but you know um, we all read together so especially during the summer we do um, we'll read for an hour each day together so that's that um, we are loving this little book um, my my very favorite book in the whole white world and this book is so cute um, because it talks about this little well I'm gonna tell you about it but um, <laughs> this little boy who they thought I gonna tell you the whole story but I just think it's so cute because they didn't think he liked to read but it's just because he didn't find a book that he really liked and so he wrote his own and it sounds a lot like what we did especially with my second son you know so this is a favorite right now and we've been reading this book like every day every single day <laughs> for the last week so I don't think I'll be not be reading that anytime soon and right now you know I was we we're at the dentist because oh that's another thing we had a dental appointments last week and the uh, dentist was asking about um do the kids do the boys or do the kids like the sneak read I'm like no not my kids they don't I know my boys do not love to read but I said you know it doesn't stress me because they do love to listen to you know books so I'm fine I'm totally fine with that and they'll read other things so that's totally fine with me but I was telling you know my husband he he didn't love to read either but now he's a ferocious leader and that didn't come to later in life and that's what I love about homeschooling and unschooling because you know you you're allowed the children are allowed to just come into their own when they're ready for it so it's not important to me that they be ferocious readers right now I really could care less I want to know do they understand I know they can read I do know that but I don't force them if they're good right now listening to me you know read these different books totally fine with me I remember when I was like in high school and my mom would read to my little sister and there's like a four a 13 age year age gap between my sister who's under me and then my baby sister and even when my mom would read to my baby sister I would still go in there and listen because I loved the way she animated stories and things and I know even for myself there are certain types of books that I like to read and you know I'm a person, I'm very active, my children are the same way, and I prefer to move around. So I'm an audio book, I like audio books, but there are some books that I prefer to read, and I will stay up all night, <laughs> and I'll read for hours. So that's that's the thing, when you find something that you delight in, I think everybody does have some type of love for reading when they find books that they love and that speaks to them. But anyway, we've read this whoosh book. And this one is about um, Lonnie Johnson's Super Soper. So the kid, boys especially really love this book. So we'll be reading that more and more and more and over and over and over. Um, a computer called Catherine. And so we actually haven't read this one yet, but they know of her because of um, the movie. I can't even think of that movie right now, but we'll be getting to that. And then this was a pretty good one. The Girl who um, thought in pictures. So she was, um, I think on the, sh I think she had Asperger's, yeah. And so she became a um, scientist and that's a really good book. So I just love that. And then today we got, these were actually prizes. So my uh, one year old, no, <laughs> no, I don't have any one year olds, but my uh, six year old, she got this Berenstain Bears to ride the uh, Thunderbolt. So. I'm sure it's going to go right into our reading rotation because like I said, you know, we're reading an hour a day. That's what we do in the summers. Um, and then my uh, six, no, my eight year old, he got this book. So this this looks really interesting to me. And I think we're going to jump into this tomorrow just, you know, to read a story a day. This will just go into our one hour rotation of reading 50 children and um, young people who shook up the world. So I thought that sounded good. And so in addition to our um one hour reading a day like we come right out on the porch 
we bring a whole bunch of books with us and we just read and the thing is we take turns reading so everybody reads and it's just it's fun you know and the time goes by so fast so it's, that's something that we really really enjoy and so in addition to um one hour reading daily we also do uh we continue with you know just practice just to keep up the math skills and um uh writing so those things we do and um also uh music so we have a um piano down there or a keyboard and um the drums and we recently got a, a electric guitar so the kids have just been in on their own they just go down there and practice there's nothing i have to say and i just love that you know when kids find things they're interested in they just go up and do it on their own so we they've been doing that um oh yeah we started back boating so um I think that video went out today, which is today is uh, Tuesday. So I put it out just from the weekend. We went out on the boat and that was a whole lot of fun. And then, you know, it's also beach season. Um, we're in our home in the north. So we've been going to that little beach. They call it a beach. But um, when you've, you know, grown up in Florida or, you know, you have a, you live in the south, do you know what a beach to me you know it's the ocean and the sand and all that but you know I'll take it because it has sand and this water and I do like the lake and all that so we were swimming um like all day Sunday at, and that, that was a blast the kids really enjoyed it we all always enjoy that so those are like weekly things that we do um during the summer so, and um I told y'all about the summer reading challenge that we're doing today was the kickoff event uh kickoff um what do they call the kickoff party so they had like the big bounce house and all the little kid activities and stuff so we went there and the kids had a great time and we did the little scavenger hunt at the library and the kids department so they had all these different little pictures because the theme is um oceans of possibility so they had to find all the different um ocean animals around so they enjoyed that and then once they finished they got a prize and um that was fun and they enjoyed it. So we you know we tend to go to the library a little bit more in the summer. So we'll probably go a few times a week. And kids um, try some new foods. Uh, let me see. For the first time they had, uh, what was that? Oh, salt, saltfish, um, ducana, and chop chop. And they enjoyed it. So, you know, I'm a fan of Caribbean food. I grew up eating it and I really like it. And the kids, they're tending towards it as well. So that was good and we in the video you'll see i think a couple of snippets of our visit to the fort, fort sumter museum and um that that was good as well um oh and we were in this other town and they had a law enforcement parade so we got to see uh, that parade and that was enjoyable you know another thing that is important that we've been doing is you know because i talked about the kids lemonade stand and um, one thing they do is um, give their tithes and give offerings, you know, that's of their own volition and accord. And so, you know, every time they make money, which they do very well with their lemonade stand, we, you know, pray over our tithes and offerings and send them off or give them, you know, to where we're going to give. And um, I was uh, teaching them Luke 6.38. And we did a, um, that might be in the video, a little bit of that, where we, so they can understand what good measure pressed down, shaking together and running over looks like. And so they really, really enjoyed it. I wish I would have recorded the whole thing, but um, it, that was a fun thing to do. And that kind of fell in the realm of like science. But, you know, I try not to just say, okay, this is science, this is math, just how it all flows together. So you'll see a little clip of that when you see the little exploding of uh, things <laughs> that that was um the Luke 638 and then we we broke it up in two parts because we had a um one uh container where we stuffed with tissue and so um what, maybe one day I'll just do a little video to demonstrate what we did with that so anyway and chapter books I know people um people are into chapter books especially when kids get a certain age but I'm not really into that you know I try to get the books that my kids like you know um, things that they choose and um, the only chapter book that it, we read consistently is the Bible and I love it it's always um, I mean everything is in the Bible <laughs> you know past present uh, future is all there and you know there are chapters upon chapters 
and you know there's always great discussions that's the that's probably my favorite thing because you see like children think and then they're not only thinking on a natural level they think beyond that that's what about the you know when the scripture talks about being transformed by the renewing of your mind by reading these books you know these spiritual this spiritual book their minds being transformed so they're able to think on another level and I think that's so important for not only children but for everybody so that's what we've been up to in June um, just you know doing a lot more going um, just enjoying life which you know I try to do at all times of the year but it's especially to me more enjoyable in the summertime because you know it's, it's you don't have to put on a bunch of layer of clothes <laughs> that's my thing <laughs> like when winter rolls around and having to put on the snowsuit wait your regular clothes and then you have to dress in layers with that and then having to put on the snowsuit and then the hat and the gloves and the boots and all that and it's just so nice to just to be able to go outside and just you know your flip-flops or your sandals and your shorts and you're just jumping the car and you're good to go so that's, you know, our summer is off to a great start um, and we are all enjoying it. And I hope you're enjoying your summer as well. Um, I will see you guys again real soon. Thanks for watching and God bless you. Bye.